Right, so, exactly. What does building model ships got to do with washing machines? Well, I'll show you. And it's all pretty basic when you think about it. And this is the connection between washing machines and model shipbuilding. This is the four corner parts of the packing on washing machines. Uh, they're taking a lot of the expanded foam away from packaging and replacing it with bits of cheap wood. What you're supposed to do is put it straight into the recycling bin. There's no other use for it whatsoever. It's cheap, it's the stuff that's just below the park. If you look, you might not be able to see it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the bark of the pine tree. Okay, that's how it's it's unseasoned, it's it's rubbish, sticking in the recycling bin. Or you can save it and build a model ship with it. Of course there are other places you can find wood. I mean it doesn't have to be from uh, domestic appliances. Uh, this particular stack of wood, which is about a lifetime supply for me, came from my neighbour. This, if you recognise this at all, is the business end of a, of a Venetian blind. Now, he was having a chuck out, he was doing a, giving his home a makeover, and uh, he chucked out all these lovely wide slats. The wood itself, as it stands on its own, is rubbish. It really is. I mean, it's. I'll, I'll, I'll just quickly show you, okay? Are you ready for this? Let's go like that. That is cheap, in it. I bet you paid a fortune for this as well. Right. <clears throat> now, the amazing thing about this piece of wood, apart from the obvious it was free, my favourite word, is the fact that the actual thickness, I'll just put that down there, the actual thickness of this was three millimetres, or eighth of an inch, which means that if you take one bit of three mil, two bit of three mil, three bit of three mil, four bit of three mil, okay? You clamp and glue, if you glue and clamp those together, right, that's half an inch, okay? And what I'll do is I'll quickly run through the mathematics of how I was able to do that, right? Now sit there and I'll show you how it's done. Right, here we go. This is how you convert in the top of your head, off the top of your head, millimetres to inches, which is really important because you'll find that a lot of the drawings that you find of model ships that are free online or you can buy them, I'll show you them, hang on. There you go. Next to nothing. That's less than a pound that cost me. And what you get are a set of drawings that will show you how to build what is called a bread and butter construction. Okay? That's one piece of wood laid on top of another. But unfortunately, it's all in Imperial. Now, I don't know about you, but when I went to school, it was right at the time we were changing from Imperial to Metric. So I'm pretty mixed up on my, on my um, measuring. And it wasn't until somebody showed me this rule. Right? Now, what I'm going to show you, they don't teach in universities. They give you this complicated formula that's multiplied by 2.54 or whatever and you're sitting there and you're thinking oh, I'm not going to do that you know and then you eventually say 25 millimeters an inch good enough right um for those of us a bit more agile this rule I'm going to show you <sighs> is 
is called the rule of 1.6. Okay? And this is how it works. Take your fraction. That's not right, is it? Should we try that again? Eighth of an inch. There you go. Now, how am I going to convert that to millimetres using this rule? What you do is you convert this into sixteenths. Okay, so that is now two sixteenths. Okay, agree with that? Right. How to get that to millimetres is easy. You might apply that by 1.6. Okay. We got 1.6, so the decimal point's not too hot there. All right, which gives you two 1.6s is, is three point two millimetres. Doesn't get any easier than that, does it? I mean, you sit there and you go 1.6, 3.2, 4.8, you know, and so on. As long as you get to that down to that sixteenth there, it gets you to where you want to go. Right? It works right up to 12 inches if you really want to go there. Um, if you want to be exact, you can buy a Recno or, or download one off the internet. Um, yeah, and that works. And before I quickly go, what kind of thing will you be aiming for? That. This is the um, Mayflower. I've been working on this. Having a little go at it here and there. Doing a bit here, doing a bit there. Um, basically, this was the packing wood that came from my um, new freezer. Okay. It was cut to size using an ordinary saw. I've got the rasp out shaped it up. The masts, bit of cheating, yes I did buy some dowling. But everything else was laying around in my hunt. The paint, the wood stains, the whole lot, all sitting in the cupboard under the stairs. And all this is achievable. You just have to sit there and let your imagination go. The only thing missing at the moment is the rigging. And on a model like this, it's easy. Yeah? It will give you a good insight as to how to rig a proper ship. Something like what I'm just about to show you now. Mm -hmm.